So this is a 1989 Batmobile. Looks absolutely amazing. I'm gonna list some pros and cons, whether it's worth you buying this set, what I think to the minifigs, and the overall, whether you should or should not purchase this awesome looking set. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Martin, this is Lego Fan UK. And as you can see before me, we have an absolutely massive, awesome set. If you are new to this channel, me and another channel over in Canada called ALA Hobbies, we have been building this awesome set over a live stream. It's taken five live streams of two, two and a half hours, and we've been alternating on each other's channels. It's been a really fun build, absolutely amazing. I've got to enjoy this build. Taking our time doing it has been absolutely amazing because we've been able to actually appreciate some of the finer details. Absolutely amazing set. If it's your first time here, please click that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, keep up to date with my latest videos. Now, this is a set that I bought back when it was uh, launched. So I got the, the freebie with it as well. It's been sat in storage. So I thought what better thing to do than to build it with somebody else. And YouTube has given us the, the power to be able to build this with someone that's halfway around the world. Me and Corey over at ANA Hobbies, we, we get on really, really well. We've been speaking to each other for a little while now, and we thought, let's do some building together. So check the videos out, guys, and there will be a link to some of the videos in this video. We're gonna have a look at this set and see what we think and whether you should buy this. So this is 3,306 pieces, absolutely massive set. It's £219.99 over here in the UK. And just by looking at the box, it looks absolutely amazing. The box is huge. It weighs around three and a half kilos, I believe. So you get three minifigs of this. You get the massive build, and then you get a stand build as well. We get this huge manual, absolutely massive. Unfortunately, it does come with stickers, but we'll get into that when we do the review. So guys, we're gonna do a review on this set now, do some pros and cons and whether you should buy this. This is the absolute massive box that comes with this cool set. I love this box. It looks absolutely amazing. Obviously, it's got the original 1989 Batmobile logo up here. We've got DC down in the bottom. And the set is 16 plus. Set number is 76139. And it's the 1989 Batmobile. Now, the box is really cool. I love how they've done the back of it, which Basically sort of shows the lights lit up and maybe some afterburner action there and a bit of fog and mist around it. And you've even got a reflection of the actual set underneath. So the box looks really cool on the side, which I really like as well. Michael Keaton's Batman sort of silhouette. I love how they've done this actually really cool. So if you've got that on the shelf, you know exactly what set you got. And at the bottom, it's just got 1989 Batmobile on the top. We have other than my dirty, great big cut that was in the box, we have a top view of the Batmobile and then we have a size comparison with one to one, shows the actual size of the wheel. So yeah, you can see how big it is, absolutely massive. And then the other side of the box, we've got a picture of the rear of the Batmobile and then we've got a Batman, 80 years. Absolutely, to think that this is eight years old is absolutely crazy. So really cool. And then another box view at the bottom, which you probably never ever see, is another side profile. Absolutely amazing, looks really, really cool. And then one last view, guys, of this awesome box is the back view. Now you can see it's obviously embossed or shiny where the, the actual Batman and the Batmobile is and the rest of it's quite a matte finish. But this is really cool as well because we've got the Batmobile on its display stand with the minifigs on their little stand. It's got the size down here, so it's 60.8 centimeters or 23.9 inches, and then the height is 14.7 centimeters, 5.8 inches. It shows the cockpit opens, shows machine guns popping out, and also shows actually what's inside the interior. So just the box alone is actually really, really good. There's so much detail in it. Now, another cool thing, I don't know if you can make it out that well in the video, you get a massive white box inside, which obviously has some parts in here. Because these sort of size sets, they do like to put them into two separate or a separate box inside and then some inside because there was 24 bags in total on this. Now, what I like about this is 
it's like an outline of what the Batmobile looks like. So you've got the sort of back end wraps around, shows the back of the Batmobile, and then it wraps around. You can see the front. So that box alone is actually really cool. I'm, when I built it, I didn't really want to open it because I thought, look how nice it is. The amount of detail they put in these sets, you can see why the price value is at like two hundred and twenty pound. Just the box alone. If you were going to not open it, you'd never see this awesome little white box inside. Now they could have just done the plain one, but doing this is just absolutely amazing. Now before we get to the set itself, this is the manual. This is actually really cool. Well, you've got the, the real Batmobile from the movie on the front, so you can see all the detail that actually matches up to the set. On the back, we've got the lego.com forward slash DC superheroes for any related products, videos, and endless brooding darkness. <laughs> That's quite cool. I like how they add these random things in like that. And you got the Batmobile, and it's like a leathery look. So this is his cape kind of look on there. And what we're going to do is just open it up, just so you can get a rough idea of what's in here. There's an overview of the actual Batmobile in Lego form. And then we have got loads of pages on how they designed it, what, what they did, how many details, the actual build itself. You got a little sort of introduction into it, how they want to stay true to it. And yeah, so first of all, before you even get to the build, you've got 20 pages before you even get to the build. Now, what me and Corey noticed on our live streams is that my manual didn't have as many pages because it's only in English, whereas the ones you get in North America tend to have English and French and maybe a couple of other languages. So there's a lot more pages. So our page numbers didn't match, but the build numbers did. Now you get the standard sort of like grayish sort of color pages. Now these are really cool. Definitely stands out. Some of the elements of where you build it and where it goes is not very clear, but it's all good fun. It's, it's Lego in the day. It's, it's really good to learn to do that. And then that was the sticker sheet. So there were some strange stickers on there, lots of in the cockpit, and then these really weird white ones. So guys, we're gonna actually review the set now and we'll see what we think, any pros and any cons. Now, the first thing we are gonna do is we're gonna look at the minifigs. So we've got this buildable stand. Obviously it's meant to be like gargoyles, perhaps on one of the Gotham banks. And it's actually really cool. Some fun little stand. I wish it was integrated into the actual Batmobile with its stand as well. It would have been quite cool, but obviously they wouldn't be able to because with that stand, it does rotate, which I'll show you in a short while. So looking at the minifigs, so all three of these minifigs are actually exclusive to this set. Now this Batman is absolutely amazing. Love it, really, really good. So you get this kind of like grappling hook and then you get his Batarang, which you get with pretty much all Batman sets. Now the cowl and the cape is all one piece so this is all one piece in like a rubbery sort of material but that looks so cool really really good i absolutely love that they put a lot of detail into that and then looking at batman he's got his sort of bit most look like he's got eyes i think it looks like a sweatband <laughs> but actually really cool so he's got a dual face so he's got a gurning sort of face and a kind of content face and you've got his sort of suit underneath with his utility belt. Obviously, that's where the Batman symbol usually goes. There's no prints on the arms, on the legs. I think a bit of detail on the arms would have been quite nice. But overall, he is a really cool minifig. And with that cowl on and his cape, he just looks really cool. So he is worth around 30 to 40 pounds. So if you were to sell him, you get a little bit back on your set. Then we've got the Joker. This is Jack Nicholson's Joker. You can tell by his smile. We're smiling on here. Take his hat off. He's really good. You can just see like he's got his little sort of dimples in his cheeks. Makeup on it is really cool with his nice yellow teeth. Now you get a really nice purple hat. He's got purple hands and these little guns. And then his, the print is actually, again, really, really nice. You've got his flower, his uh, sort of cravat, and then his checkered sort of dungarees underneath his trench coat, which you can see goes right the way down to where 
where his knees would be. So yeah, he is really cool as well. And again, this is another figure you could probably sell for 10 to 15 pound if you wanted to sell your minifigs. I don't separate minifigs from their sets because that's how I like to keep mine displayed and built. And then the last one we have is Vicky Vale with her camera. And I only realized building a set that if you hold it a certain way, you can actually put it up to their face. Oh, she's taking a photo, snap, snap, snap. <laughs> so really cool. So she gets a little camera with a lens and she's got her weird like sort of fabric wrap that she's wearing, like a kind of dress. So the prints, again, not too bad on here. And then there's a little bow at the back. So we'll take her hair piece off. And again, she has a dual face. So a sort of angry gurning face. And then just a happy, content, meh kind of face. <laughs> so out of the three minifigs, this is obviously my least favorite. She's probably worth around about nine, 10 pound. So again, if you sold all your minifigs with a display stand, you could probably make a good 60 to 70 pound uh, back on your set. So that's the minifigs. They are really cool. They're all exclusive to this set. And guys, here we have this absolutely amazing Lego set. I really, really love this. I think it looks so cool. In the video and in pictures, it does look really cool, but in the flesh, it's so, so much better. So before we get to that, I'm just gonna show you the stand that you build. So you build a stand, which is kind of like a, a flat ufo -E one. You have the usual plaque. So on here, it's got the length is 21 foot nine inches, width seven foot 10 inches, acceleration 060 in 3.7 seconds, maximum speed unknown, fuel high octane 97% special. I'd love fuel out of my car. It would make my car so much quicker. <laughs> but this is actually quite a fun little build. It's really strange though, because this is the last thing you build is this and the minifigs. I would expect this to be built probably straight away. So once you've start doing a chassis you can use it to actually help keep it up because picking this bad boy up is a bit of a pain because it is quite heavy and some bits do fall off but because of the technic stuff inside it you can actually pick it up by the technics and not drop it i've done it a couple of times in video once i've got a bit further through i thought i ain't doing that because i'm gonna drop it it's gonna smash everywhere and i'm gonna have to start again <laughs> so i stopped doing that but this is quite cool because it's got like a sort of cog mechanism it just it's just free spinning and basically what it does if I lift this set up, you can see underneath all these techniques, and you've got these blue bits here. And basically, that is where it goes. So you have to hold it on and then pop it down without breaking it. So I'm going to leave it on the stand for a minute just so I can actually show you this set in all its glory. So, what we've got is the 1989 Batmobile. There's some really, really cool, fun builds. So, I'm going to zoom in, guys, so I can actually explain what there is and see why I think it's gonna be an amazing set. Right, so this is the side, or one of the sides. So you've got these intakes that are built. Now these are really fun how these are built. Really, really cool. Got lots of curved pieces. The connections are absolutely amazing and absolutely loads of flat pieces all over. Now you've got this little grappling hook design in here and these kind of exhaust ports. Now these little grill bits here are really cool. They're made of those funny little Sort of skates or minifig skates so we get six each side you get an engine sort of piece there and you get this little bit here is the like a minifig accessory i can't really take it out to show you but it's really cool what they've used just to make all this sort of detail on the side we've got one sticker over here which is the same on the other side so kind of like an exhaust port and then the grill for these sort of vents at this side again really cool how these are done they're made by the tail pieces you get for some of the lego sort of planes and we've got another sticker up here again this is the same on the other side so these stickers aren't too bad not too fiddly now you can see the amount of detail in this build it's absolutely amazing there's so many slopes and the way all these pieces fit not perfectly but almost perfectly and i love these gaps because it actually makes the set kind of pop now this is the rear tire this rear tire is absolutely humongous and the way you build these hubs are pretty cool so we've got like a, a dome piece there and then you've got a two by two flat printed piece which is printed with a batman symbol now i'm so happy they're printed because that just makes it so much better moving along to the back 
Again, you can see how much detail is in this. Even this rear wing, the build on that is quite cool because you build the top half, it slots in, and then the second half you can see clips on these modified one by ones and then it actually builds out. So you've got kind of a relief effect going on as well. So that is really cool as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to spin to the front of the set, ignoring everything there. So again, we've got wheels at the front. These are slightly smaller and they turn as well. So you go left and right and they actually work with the steering wheel in the car. And again, you can see all the details along this front piece. Absolutely amazing. Now, looking at the front of the set, the most pointer stickers <laughs> were behind these uh, yellow one by ones. They were little tiny white stickers, absolute pain to get on how you wanted them, but I kind of see why they've done it because it adds a bit of effect to the light so you can't see what's going on behind. The turbine on the front is done really well using a train wheel. We've got so many pieces, like this piece down here is a bit that I kept breaking, and you can see it's a bit loose at the moment because. For some reason I keep breaking it but it looks absolutely amazing by this profile you can just see how the the front slopes and it just slopes you've got the front engine bay that slopes down as well it just yeah it just screams class it's so so good and just showing the right hand side is exactly the same as the left I'm gonna try to spin it around to show you the back now the back is absolutely amazing I love this the way they've done it it's so cool so on the back of these exhaust ports, they're using like little mini fig heads. So we've got silver mini fig heads and they kind of pop on to here. We've got loads of curves and flat pieces. It just flows so well. Even these wheel arches, they kind of slope in. The back of the sort of engine bay or exhaust ports, I don't know what you want to call this piece, but it's kind of got the Lerva sort of design on the back of this. Absolutely amazing. Love how they've done that. It's just so good. And then we've got this sort of uh, turbine at the back. Now this turns, I'll show you in a little while, and it actually pops up the machine guns out of this set. So that is really cool. It'd be nice to add some flame details in here. So if you've got any Lego flames, you can pop them on. Really cool. Now you've got a couple of lights either side. So a lit up set would be really nice as well. And you can see the sort of relief on these wings as well. But that looks Absolutely amazing, no stickers on the back of this. Uh, these are the pieces you get like with the War Machine Buster, you see it turns really nice, so that is absolutely cool as well. Now to show the top of this, I'm gonna just lift it off this stand, get that stand out of the way. Well, I say this, that weighs an absolute ton. And I'm gonna pop it slightly on its side. It should stay in one piece because it is a mega tough set. So. You can see obviously the front of this, it's really cool how they've smoothed it all off. You've got all these little slope pieces. We've got these covers here, which are for the machine guns. I'll take it off. It's only held on by one stud, so they pop off really easy. Now, what is really cool is you've got these sort of vents at the back, which go through to there. So you've got some more nice curved pieces. And this cockpit slides off. So if I slide that, that is how you get into the cockpit. Obviously, it's not minifig scale. But how cool is this? Right guys, so looking in the cockpit, love how they've done these seats, how they've done the headrest. There's a sticker right at the back. The seats are really cool. Stickers again in the middle. And at the front near the steering wheel, you can see there's more stickers that wrap around the whole thing. It's really awkward to get a good image in here, guys, because it's quite tightly compact. We've got the Batman symbol one by one tile on the steering wheel, which actually moves the wheels. Love how they've done the little gear stick and that using a Technic engine sort of piston mount. And there is actually inside a accelerator and a brake pedal, which you cannot see in here. Now that's where most of the stickers are. You've got a really cool, unique piece as well, which is this windscreen. It's one piece that wraps the whole way around and it's got like a black it could be a pre-applied sticker, but I actually think it's a print. Really hard to see in the, in the video, but it is an actually amazing, really, really, really cool piece. And I love how it just slides up and slides down. Really, really nice. There's so many like vent details in here. And again, I'm going to show you how these machine guns work. I'm going to show you how these machine guns on this work, guys. Now, this is really cool. So I'm going to turn 
the motor at the back, turn it clockwise, not any clockwise, and they pop off. And you lose them, they go wherever. But you've got these cool little machine guns that, that pop up. And again, you can see they go up and down. So there's the machine guns, guys. They've got stickers on either side on this uh, two by four tile, but it kind of shows like the magazine with the bullets in it. Now that is a really cool little addition that they've actually put these machine guns in to work as well. So it's technically not a play set, but just having those available just to change the way you display it, you can uh, obviously turn the wheels a different angle and have the machine guns up. Maybe with that out, this is really cool. I really love how they've done this. It's absolutely amazing. So these are the pieces that pop off, even there, fun little pieces as well. So I'm going to show you again, close up how these work. So they just literally slot straight back, back in on that little one by one sort of square tile. And again, rotate it clockwise, quickly do it, quickly they pop off and there's your guns. So that is absolutely amazing. So now my pros and cons for this set, whether you should or shouldn't buy. Now the pros definitely outweigh the cons. The box art is amazing. The manual is awesome as well. There's so much detail in there about the design process and the actual thing it's based on. The minifigs are absolutely amazing as well. I love these minifigs, especially the Batman. He is so cool and I love the purple on the Joker. The little stand is quite a cool little addition. Nothing amazing, obviously. I'd love to be able to put it somewhere on there, but the problem is if you move this, it's going to knock it flying. So it's quite cool. You can display that somewhere completely different from the actual Batmobile. If you've got a minifig collection, that look quite nice perched at the top. The actual set itself, the pros for this, love how the canopy moves over. Love all the detail inside the cockpit and just love all these different build techniques. Now this is probably the best, if not one of the best builds that I've actually done. I loved it. Doing a live stream as well with a, a Hobbies, it was so much fun building this, chatting to the people in, in the stream as well. It was really, really good. And if I built it on my own, I may have built it slightly quicker, but I actually got to enjoy all the detail on this set. It was absolutely amazing. And another pro is just how it looks. It looks absolutely amazing. Now, coming to the con section, there's not a great deal that I think would put me off this set. I don't like stickers, so paying the amount I paid, I would have paid another £10, maybe more, if they would have actually had no stickers. I would love to have seen these sort of things printed on. It would have been so much easier than using stickers. I hate stickers anyway, so that is one thing I would mark this set down for. Also, the black on the set I absolutely love it but the only thing I hate about it is fingerprints you get so many fingerprints on this because they're all shiny as well you're going to notice it so you're going to have to clean it quite a lot polish it dust it a lot so if you have some gloves build it with some gloves on that's probably the best thing you can do but then you don't get that dexterity feel of, of the bricks so fingerprints actually a bit of a pain now getting a display cabinet that this is going to fit in is going to be quite awkward as well but if you get like an acrylic box for it that'd look really nice in there and you haven't got to worry about those horrible fingerprints now one thing which a lot of people have said about this set which i totally agree with them as well is the top piece here this uh six by six here is not shiny for some reason it's a matte finish i know there's probably something they can not do to get this shiny you could probably polish it if you wanted to but that is probably one of the only real cons about this set. Other than that, I would recommend this set 100%. If you've got the money to get it, and you love DC, love Batman, go ahead, buy it. Absolutely amazing set. The build is awesome, and the finished product is absolutely amazing, and it actually rolls away. So the way the tires are done, it is perfect for that. So guys, thank you for watching the video. Really appreciate it. I had so much fun making this set. It was absolutely amazing. There's so much detail in this. So many cool little pieces that have been used. The techniques, absolutely amazing. Now, my recommendations would be, yes, buy this. Go and buy it. It's absolutely worth every penny. 
if you don't build it in the future, it's probably going to be worth a little bit more than retail price. I know the Batman Tumblr, that went up in price probably about £50, £100, depending where you got it. Sometimes it was even more. So the Tumblr worked really well for a little bit of investment. This one, I think, will be the same. Once it's discontinued, the prices will go up. There's obviously going to be quite a lot of these out, but a lot of them will be built. I was going to keep mine as an investment piece, but I thought, no, nah, I need to build it. It looks absolutely amazing. Now, if you can't justify the £220, there is a different way you can do this. You can, if you just want the Batmobile itself and you're not fussed about minifigs, is you can sell these three minifigs. Now, the Batman minifig goes anywhere between £30 to £40. Joker's about £10. And Vicky Vale sells for about £8 as well. So you can easily recoup about £60 worth from this set just by selling these three minifigs, which means technically this is going to cost you £160. And it's an absolutely awesome set. So guys, thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell notification to keep up to date with all my latest videos. I'm going to announce a giveaway soon. I won't be announcing that till I get nearer to 500 subscribers. I'm down at 314 at the moment. The channel is growing really nicely. I just really appreciate everyone that watches my videos. Appreciate your support. Appreciate any comments that are left in my videos as well because I love to interact. Anyway, guys, keep an eye out for my next giveaway. Cannot wait to announce that. I'm nearly at 100 videos as well, so I might hopefully be doing a special video for, for my 100th video. I can't believe how quick that time has gone. But anyway, thanks for watching the video, guys. Take care, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.